Hey guys, there was a game of tag going around the last couple of months. I actually started back before Christmas. And the first person that sent me the message was a fellow over in the UK, uh, Cave, Alaska. And I saw a few other people that said, you know, when they were answering the question, they said, if you see this video, consider yourself tagged. And uh, Bear Prepper, she got me last month too. And I've just been too busy to sit down and go over and answer all these questions. But right now it's going to kind of tie in to what I'm doing uh, Friday night for my radio show. I'm going to do a question and answer session. Uh, talking about gardening and stuff like that. Try to get back to the gardening stuff. We've been talking about the chickens and homesteading. People are starting to plant, starting seeds. It's time to get back to focusing on the garden. So that's what I want to do. What I'm going to start out with is the explanation of the story of exactly how I got started in gardening and how all of this stuff evolved. Uh, it's a pretty long story. Not something I can fill out in the comment section somewhere and explain to anybody. I'll be talking about seed starting, things that I do, things that you can do to make it real simple. Uh, we'll talk about maybe growing in the greenhouse, maybe some greenhouse construction, uh, maybe get into the hydroponic stuff. I got a lot of questions that I get asked all the time, so what I want to do is just uh, go down the list and try to answer those things in a much more detailed manner. If you have a question you'd like to have answered, you can put it down below here in the, uh, the comment section, or you can join me Friday night. 9 o'clock Eastern over on PrepperBroadcasting.com and uh, log in. You can go down to the, uh, the chat room and you can actually post your question in the chat room. And what I'm going to do uh, Friday is I'm going to focus on the questions in the chat room and try to keep up with what's going on there and address each question as it comes. I'll have some questions that I want to talk about, but uh, I'd rather if possible be able to answer everybody's questions as they go down the list and see what kind of evening we can have. I think it'd be pretty cool. I'll put a link to the show down below, 9 o'clock Eastern, PrepperBroadcasting.com, Friday, February 15th. Very easy to find. Right now, i got 30 questions right here that I have seen a lot of people answer, and they had a lot of fun with this. So uh, one of the deals is trying to find out more about the people that you uh, actually watch videos, the people you subscribe to, get more uh, personal information about them. Can't go into uh, so much detail, but some of these questions are you know, pretty, pretty simple to answer. First question is, what is your favorite month and why? I would have to say March. That's the month that I can actually get outside and start getting to work in the garden, uh, get my potatoes and onions planted, and go ahead and get things uh, off to a good start for the year. Also, what month were you born in? That would be April. What is your favorite color and why? I like uh, something purple, lavender, uh, somewhere in there. And obviously, from how many times I've worn this shirt right here, I kind of like this color too, although it's faded a whole lot over the last couple of years. What was your very first YouTube video about? That was my little small greenhouse back there behind me. Uh, it was snowing on the ground and I just got the camera and start walking around showing the outside of it. What was your first YouTube channel? This one. Question number five. Are you happy about the new YouTube layout? Why or why not? I am absolutely not happy about it because every time I log in and go over to the main page or anywhere that I'm watching the video on the right hand side, there will be suggested videos, videos recommended for me. And nine times out of 10, it's gonna be one of my very own videos. And I tell you, when I'm doing the editing process, I watch these things over and over and over and over. I do not want to have my own videos recommended to me. What is your favorite device? That would have to be my computer. That's how I keep in touch with the outside world. That's how I learn what's going on. I sure can't get that kind of information on television. Y'all know how that works. Question number seven, what camera do you use for your videos? I use a Canon FS200 that I bought used on Amazon because it had a uh, external mic input on the side of it and I could use the wireless mic and it would make my videos a whole lot better quality when I was outside and it was kind of windy. Are you an early sleeper or a late sleeper? I am a late sleeper. I do not like to get up early in the morning. When you go to bed at two or three o'clock, you don't need to be getting up at six. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? I usually roll back over. What do you do to help relax before you go to sleep? Most of the time what I'm doing is uh, reading comments, replying, or watching somebody else's YouTube video, something that laid back, not interested in trying to get any kind of stressful news or anything like that before I go to sleep. What is your real first name? That would be Bobby. What are your hobbies? I used to fish, spent thousands and thousands of dollars fishing up and down the East Coast, dragging the bass boat all over the place. Uh, now, pretty much just gardening and uh, staying right here. I'm a, I'm a homebody. What got you inspired to start a YouTube channel? How did you get started on YouTube? Uh, I wanted to post a video showing the people on the Bayou Forum 
what I was doing with the first greenhouse and showing them that I was going to try to grow warm weather crops in the winter time. I was going to try to grow tomatoes, peppers, squash, cucumbers, those kind of things, and it worked. What one tip would you give to a new YouTuber? Have fun. When you make your videos, just get out there, have fun, be yourself, laugh, joke, whatever you want to do. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Just try to be who you are. What is your favorite fruit? That would be tomatoes. They are actually a fruit, I think. Also, what is your favorite food? That would have to be the no-bake cherry cheesecake. I think I could eat my weight in those things. What is your favorite drink? If you'd asked me this a few years back, I would have told you hands down, wild turkey. This day and time, no alcohol, just plain water. Drink plenty of water. Ice cream or frozen yogurt, just give me ice cream. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. I'm a very simple person, don't need no fancy stuff, just give me plain vanilla ice cream and I'm happy. What is your worst food? That would have to be a tie between liver and deer meat. Uh, I don't care for eating either one of them, although if push come to shove, I think I could put enough ketchup on them and keep from starving to death by eating either one. What weird story do you have with your worst food? That would have to be the deer meat. I've had uh, the deer tenderloin given to me, barbecued, I didn't like it. I had the fresh deer meat given to me where I cooked it myself. I still didn't like it. Do you have any siblings? If so, how many? Yes, I have three brothers somewhere in North Carolina. I have no idea where and I got a sister. I think last time I talked to her, she was in Missouri. So I know how to get in touch with her. If there was one law you could change, what would it be? I would have to say, without a doubt, please put the Ten Commandments back in the schools. These kids are growing up. They have no concept of right or wrong. If you just follow the basic template of the Ten Commandments, the world would be a whole lot better off. What is one device you wish you had? It ain't exactly a device, but it sure would be nice to have one in four-wheel drive capotas to go up and down the garden rows. What do you want for the holidays? Holidays are coming gone. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty well blessed all throughout the year where I don't have to go into Christmas looking for anything in particular. What is your favorite store? The one that I can walk into, I would have to say Lowe's online. Just give me Amazon. I can find just about anything on there and click that PayPal and here it comes. Question number 26. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, at the time, I had no earthly idea what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. The only thing I knew when I got out of high school, I was getting my butt off of that farm and in a hurry. What is your favorite state? Uh, it had to be the one that I'm in right now, Virginia. Although I was born in North Carolina, I'm a Tar Heel boy. Y'all heard the thing, Tar Heel born, Tar Heel bred, and when I die, I'll be Tar Heel dead. I'll always be a Carolina boy. But right now, I'm in the state of Virginia, so I got to support my own state. What languages do you know? I'm pretty fluent in redneck and I speak somewhat pretty decent English. What is your occupation? This is a tough one right here. I own a mobile home park. We've got a lot of rental units here. Uh, I do all the maintenance, the service, repairs, everything possible. If it has anything to do with construction or uh, anything in a mobile home, the carpet, flooring, the walls, the ceiling, painting, plumbing, electrical, everything possible that you can imagine. Other than the uh, heating and air conditioning, I do it. And question number 30, what do you prefer, earphones or headphones? Definitely headphones. I don't want nothing sticking in my ears, period. So that's my take on the 30 questions and answers deal. I'll put these questions down below in the uh, description box. And uh, if you would like to uh, participate in this, I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you would like to, uh, to do a video on this, feel free to do so. I think it's kind of cool to get some insight into uh, exactly how people think and uh, stuff like that. But right now, it just really tied into what I want to do Friday night, just the, the question and answers on my radio show. So I uh, hope you guys can uh, tune in, and we'll have a real good evening. Y'all take care. And Lord willing, I'll see you next time.